Hi guys, back again on my channel. Today I'm going to show you one very fancy tech called MB Light. All right, MB Light LED is a LED RGB LED which connect to the back of your TV panel, which produce ambient light for your screen. Okay, so now this technology first come to Philips uh, TV, which is has built in. Uh, inside uh, the the model called Philip Hue H U E Hue or whatever you call it. So now this technology is accessible to any uh, TV device with the addition of this um, product uh, which called Ambilight. Okay, so it only comes in a four package like this. One is the power adapter. Okay, so it's a it's a five volt power adapter, and then we have the we call it LED driver or LED box, which control the LED rhythm. Okay, and this one is connect to your computer. Okay, so this one is app control uh, based on the computer app that you need to install on Windows or either Android. Okay, but now for this installation, I'm going to show you the installation on PC, not an Android box, okay? Because I don't use Android box. Okay, so, and this one is the LED strip itself, okay? So this is a two meter LED stripe. Um, they have a size chart for television size, uh, screen size, I mean, so it, let's say your screen is uh, 40 to 32 inch, you need to use a uh, two meter LED strip and for the highest one and you have to see whatever spec that suits your TV okay now this is from China of course Shenzhen's not Wuhan um, this MB light is very good because it's helped you to create ambient lights for your older television which not equipped with RGB or don't come with RGB technology nowadays LED RGB LED is everywhere now my car Toyota which even have RGB gear so i mean rgb gear knob so it really shaped into a very fancy look uh, on your current uh, setup okay so without further ado let's do the install so this is my television set it's a toshiba 32 inch full hd um, just a few addition you need a few additional thing you may need but it's optional you made it this white tab. This one is designed to smoothen the LED uh, LED uh, beam, so it looks like very very much um, accurate when it's uh, projecting to the wall. Else, it just it will happen like uh, random lights because like this one LED is lighting up. Um, the rest of the things will get the the lights from that LED projection. Okay, uh, never mind, I will show you on that part. But you may need this, the white tab, uh, a paper tab, and then some pen blade if you need. And then make sure you clean your edges of the screen to make sure the LED stick very well. And another tip is make sure the LED is really sit on the edge of the screen, okay? Make sure you peel this side first to the top and then to this side okay on the bottom of the television the, you don't really need much okay sure when you start to install always start from the right side as in the manual so the source will be at the right of the TV when it's facing at you are facing at the back of the TV it will start from the right and then always install from the source first you install this side first from the source this is the power source you install like this first because if it's too long here then you cut you can cut it from this side but if it's too long from here then you cannot cut it from here that's why always start from the power source okay start it then go through the edges if not things will get uh, very very much complicated okay so remember that always start from the source and start from the right passing at the back of your TV okay 
now as you can see i managed to install the all those led in the edge except for this one you can see here there's a band here but this cable isn't flexible enough so you could have to pause it to be like this a bit and again route again through the same for all this corner okay and here is where it needs to stop okay so i have an extra like uh, another 30 cm possibly extra led so you need to cut from this gold strip here you don't cut here or cut anyway need to cut from here okay which is the cut off point okay you just use scissors that is enough okay like this i will show you okay uh, it's very hard let me leave it a bit so my scissor can enter so like that and cut that's it now it's done and you can secure the tape and it's done now we need to apply this to smoothen up the led uh, led light okay so it acts like a filter smooth out filter for this led lights okay you can use the big tape but i prefer the the same size okay okay the finished one would look like this now this filter helps to reduce the over the uh, the light uh, from bleeding to the other side for example this led slide up this side would don't have any much of the effect of the light bleeding so it's look precisely this one i i have an idea of doing this one from one youtube i forget his account he should have the credit uh, but it's a youtuber from either malaysia or philippines or indonesia either that country okay uh, of course it's not from the west uh, so this is how it done okay so after i install on the the laptop uh, the soap on my laptop we'll see the effect but for the timing i also have another comment with this power adapter is the power cable is too short right so i have to extend the wire because um, this would not reach the tv mount that i need to install just this only one of my command but anyhow this one is easy to fix you just cut the wire and extend that's it for installation so this one don't have double tape so you need you may need one to mount it like this i always design it to mount like this so the cable is a bit tidy as you can see it doesn't leave much room and then this will not be hanging once i mount this television and then here i don't like to give up so what i do i cut the led like this and then i use a wire three wire to jump it from this and then if you don't have solder tools or you don't dare to do this no worry it's not the end of the day you can still enjoy your mb life but it's just that i just want to utilize all the led but of course when this do, when this does i'm not really sure how it will perform anyway because this is the first time i installed and uh, okay this is another thing when you solder always uh, watch this uh, with this indicator for example this is do mean is this is data out so always from data in to data out i think that's how they configure the us uh, the led uh, read rhythm if not if you connect from out to out then possibly the rhythm is not sync so that's why i always follow the sequence this is out and this is in okay you can see now like this let me get one so this is in this is in and out okay you can see later once you buy for the timing it should be like this okay so let's mount it and test it so guys finally the installation has been done um i have to say the most hard part is the software configuration okay so for example here i hope you can see it clearly now here let me just amplify yeah, just mix it maximize so here uh there's not really the manual is not really helpful so i'm what i first encounter is only four leds um are just slide up so i'm guessing up um it's is the issue of the led strip because i just cut it and resolder it as you i as you can see on the earlier video okay what i don't understand is actually 
the here you have to press more setting which is is which is not in the manual okay now for the set the box you need to set up to other light this one to windows 8 uh, i don't know what really is the different but it says if you are on gaming just select fs no arrow okay so um this one not change much much uh so not really sure what it does okay so here in the more setting okay you will see it open new parameter okay the uh the other light is okay the port and then the uh, the number of zone which is important okay so for the number of uh for the port number which is com 6 or 5 you can select it's actually you get it from this one um, which is also shown in the manual you go to device manager and then see the port here just uh, just put uh, just expand it and you will see it's com 6 uh, it's called ch340 and make sure this is the number com 6 match up with this okay so it will show you then the led is connected okay or here as you can see if it's not connected then this will be gray out this uh rainbow icon will be gray out okay so uh now which is confusing is this the number of zone okay my first thought the number of zone would be the number of zone that is placed in the screen for example this screen have four square which i put and then it should be four actually the number of zone represent number of leds on the strip okay so that what causing me trouble because i set it to four and only four light up for example here let me show you so if i set it to four okay it will load the setting okay and okay so no setting so you see only this corner is slide up okay so for two for two meter led the number of led is 60 which is i count manually during the in after the installation after the troubleshoot okay so if you are using uh means uh meaning that is one meter is 30 led so two meters is 60 led that's how the count work okay so we just need to wait for the mb light to okay just to, another thing is the software is a bit buggy that i will show you how to troubleshoot it but okay so i'm running it now so you see so we just go to more setting back again so it's 60 and see the the light is still full so it's a bit buggy so what you do you need to close exit this one and then just reload the software okay so it says uh, okay just reload it back again okay so that's the only the main thing that always happen when you uh hooking up these bad boys setting on the more setting okay once you set it to 60 and then you will see all the screen is lighting up through the entire of the corner okay to the 60 led so all the 60 led is functioning remember save those setting here okay if you're not saving the setting once you do something here for example you change this back to four you need to rearrange the setting back again that's how complicated this software is so it's not really user friendly okay um so another thing is uh, needed um you have to see the show capture area okay so this show how the led align okay for example uh you set your led running from here to here to here and here make sure the number falling follow the follow the sequence okay one two three four five six seven. if it's not what you go you need to use press this wizard capture button okay here this is the the zone direction okay this is correct um if it's not then just change it to another another i mean just change it to another uh to different direction that's all you need and then offset for the first zone is zero this one okay if it's not working you just toggle up and down until the right offset is is uh showing 
okay uh, I let me show you how it, it does okay for example this one you go to troubleshoot okay so it will tell you LED 1 and it will light to 3 okay so curve need to be done okay for example here if it's showing one here then you untick one it should dim this side not this side if it, it's doing that what you need to do is you go to wizard capture zone and trigger the first uh, the first zone the offset of the first zone until it shows the one correct okay so that's only the thing if it doesn't do that then once for example the picture you drag to here example like this you drag the picture to here this side should be light but if the zone is incorrect it will be light up here so that's what that's a that's the thing that you need to figure out okay um, you need to go to troubleshooting LED then it will show you like one by one of this LED okay so there's a bit of the learning curve in here okay so remember once you save it once you save this thing, okay, I mean, once you properly configure, make sure you save setting and backup setting to a file. If not, anything goes wrong, you'll fail to, you will need to do everything back again. It, and it is very troublesome for a bigger LCD, okay? So make sure backup to a file, name what you're setting. For example, me, it's just Toshiba like this. So let's do the job, okay? And then, one of the thing is for example if you close this software it's minimized under here but if you exit right once you exit the software and you run back again okay the light will should be light up okay no issue however for example if you the power source of the led um it become buggy okay what what means by buggy is that it's showing connected here but none of the LED is lighting up so what you do is you need to close this software from here you're not gonna close like this because it's just minimized actually so right click here and then exit okay you will see the light off and just rerun it back again and that should fix the problem this is normal because it takes time um, to close the software so once it's done and that's it so this is example okay now it's lighting up okay just like that so in all the case uh, that's only the issue that you might encounter during installation okay so guys enjoy your ambilight okay guys for, that's only for today again this is uh, this China technology really ha help us a lot because by doing this they actually enable user to experience fancy stuff with a minimal cost okay so hopefully this video is helping you a lot when you're doing first installation of MB light and just like me i do also research on youtube because the manual doesn't have much until then guys please subscribe and see you on another video bye